Hello, in this session we will talk about downloading and installing MongoDB on Windows. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Downloading and installing MongoDB is a pretty straightforward process. You download the file, you extract the file, and you do setup for the environment, and then you're all set. There are different flavors of MongoDB available for Windows platform. MongoDB for Windows Server 2008 release 12 edition, MongoDB for Windows 64-bit edition and MongoDB for Windows 32-bit edition. MongoDB for Windows Server 2008 could only be run on Windows Server 2008 release 12, Windows 7 64-bit and newer versions of Windows. This edition is designed to take advantage of recent enhancements to the Windows platform. It cannot operate on older versions of Windows. Now, we also have Windows 64-bit edition. This could run on any 64-bit version of Windows, newer than XP. XP is not supported, so this will run on Windows Server 2008 release 12 and also Windows 7 64-bit. Keep in mind, 64-bit editions will not work on 32-bit operating system. Then we have MongoDB for Windows 32-bit. This will run on any 32-bit version of Windows newer than XP. Windows XP is not supported. 32-bit version is intended for older systems and it is recommended to be used only in testing and development systems. You can always find out the Windows architecture by issuing this command on the command line. So you can go to start and run and CMD. This will open up the command prompt then you can enter this command. Here I am opening the command prompt of Windows by entering the cmd run command. So on this command prompt I can enter the command that you just saw on the screen. So if I hit enter I should be able to see the architecture of my Windows. It is 64-bit. In order to download MongoDB simply open up your browser and navigate to the website mongodb.org. Then click on the Downloads option that you see at the top. MongoDB is available for OS X, Linux, Windows and Solaris. In my case, I'm downloading for Windows, so I'm going to look under Windows columns, either 32-bit or 64-bit. I would go for the production release 242. If you want previous releases, you can scroll down and previous versions are available for download as well. Earlier, we have discussed three builds that come for Windows one under 32-bit and two under 64-bit. So I'm going to go for the second one because I have Windows 7. Windows 7 will accept any of these two builds. 64-bit will work as well as this special version 2008 R2 will work as well. So I'm going to click on this 2008 R2. The download has started. I'm using Chrome browser. In your browser you may see some different interface for the download. So this is the file that is being downloaded. The total size of the file that you're downloading is about 100 megabytes. So the file is downloaded. You can see in my download folder, it's a zip file. Next step is to extract it. So I'm going to double click on this file to launch the zip utility. So let's extract the contents of this zip file into a temporary folder. So I'm going to go extract, extract all. So you can use any other utility if you have for the extraction. So I'm going to extract the contents into this temp folder on the C root. So C colon backslash temp is what I'm doing here. Overwrite all files. Click on extract. So files are extracted successfully. Let me click OK. It opens up the temp folder. Under temp I see MongoDB folder and under that I see all these the bin and the four files. So if I go back, so this is the folder that I need to actually copy to my C root or anywhere else I like. So this is it. This is the installation. We don't have to run the installer. First, let me rename this to MongoDB only. I don't need the whole text in front of it. So now I can cut and paste. I don't need to even copy. I can cut and paste. I don't need this in the temp folder. So I'm going to do Control x here on the MongoDB folder within the temp and now I'm going to go to the root, C root, and here I'm going to paste it. 
control V. So now I have MongoDB folder in my C root. If I navigate in that folder, I'm going to see bin and the three files. So this is it. This is the installation and all the necessary files are under bin. So in the next session, we are going to see how to use these files.